Okay, my dear Leos, welcome to my channel, Luna the Moon Tarot. So before I start with your weekly love reading, I hope that you enjoyed my last week spread. So let's start with your weekly spread. Take whatever resonates, leave the rest. Do not try and let it be fit in. In case if it didn't resonate, then do watch out your sun, moon, rising and in this time. Let's see what is going to happen in your love life for the coming few days. Pay attention to the red flags. This card also popped out in the reading of Taurus. So I don't know whether it has to do something with Taurus or not. But then the signs are connecting you. Let's see what is the guidance for you all. Guidance for my dear Leos for the coming week. Guidance for my dear Leos for the coming week, please. Guidance for my Leos for the coming week, please. Guidance for my Leos for the coming week. Guidance for my Leos for the coming week, please. Guidance for my dear Leos for the coming week. Unicorns, purity. If you draw this card, the unicorn wish to connect with you. Find time to be quiet, preferably out in nature. Think about them and allow them to touch you with the qualities of dignity, love, beauty and grace. They may offer you healing or reconnect you to your soul essence. Remain open to a message from them today. Be prepared for unicorn energy to touch you. Beautiful. So, my dear Leos, uh, your advice to, you know, uh, just take out time for yourself. Go out, think, reflect, go out in nature probably, reflect and see, you know, what is, what is, what is there happening in your life. There is a lot of healing that is being guided to us in the healing week. Only if you reconnect with yourself. You can try reconnecting in nature. Probably, you know, that's where you are going to feel what is going on with you. So, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're going through right now, dear just try, reflect, resurrect. Self-reflection is important at times. So, I advise to do that. And you are going to get a lot of feelings. Who's that? A lot of feelings. Who's that? So, let's see. What do we have to do in the coming week? Maybe let's go to the week, please. Blessing of love and good news. Romantic news. Ooh. Proposals and invitations are on their way. A warm, dreamy and loving energy is headed towards you, dear Leos. You are soon going to get an update on something you have been wishing, expecting or dreaming about in love. Nice. Very nice.
for them, please, and be out there. Go for them. Out there, please. bottom of the deck I see the lovers I feel you and your partner either your energy or your partner's energy have been very grounded you or your partner have been very nurturing and you both are in a committed relationship I see a commitment coming you both are in a happy relationship and there's a lot of nurturing there's a lot of groundedness you know grounded energy that I see between you both very mature energy, very grounded energy. That's the High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Beautiful Leo, beautiful Leo, beautiful. Your card is Ace of Pentacles. I see. I see that there's a new focus that you and your that you are either putting in, in your partner's mind or you are putting a lot of focus on your money. You are putting a lot of focus on your money. I believe that you both want to get married or in case you are married, you are thinking about your future. How it is going to be financially, how you both are going to be financially. You both are very happy in your relationship. There is no problem apart from finances. I, I think you both are either looking to settle down, looking forward to settling down, and you guys are falling short of money and you're planning for your finances, I believe. And I feel that there's a lot of abundance that is going to come. Whatever you've been dreaming about, it is going to happen in your future. I feel that your person is looking forward to settling down with you, to have a family, to have kids with you, to have a lot of love, security, stability with you. That person, your person is quite committed and in love with you. In your future, I see you both looking at your world how it is going to be when you both are going to be together or how it is going to be in your future for the married couples. You are contemplating your world right now in terms of finances, in terms of your future of your relationship, how you're going to secure it financially. That's why I feel. The best thing is, uh, dear Leo, is that I don't see any any challenge for now. You're not focused on, uh, you know, love or emotional turmoil, which is which is taking place or anything of that sort. You know, right now you're more focused on settling down your finances and the future of your relationship in terms of, you know, in, in case if you are looking forward to get married, you want finances to be arranged. In case if you are married or even if you're looking forward to get married, you are also looking at the financial ex you know uh, financial side of your marriage as well probably the savings that you want to do or whatsoever things so i would suggest as per the guidance as well you are suggested that you know whatever whatever uh, is going to happen you know there is some kind of good news that is coming in blessings of love and good news that is coming in so whatever you've been dreaming about 
that is going to come towards you. All you have to do is just take a break, rest and reflect. That's all. So that's about it. Don't worry, uh, dear Leos, because everything is going to happen as per you, whatever you want it for. And all you have to do is just wait with your mind telling everything is going to take place. So that's about it for now. Let's catch up next week with your monthly spread. Bye-bye.